Hello y'all. This is the Hearts of Iron, 4 mod Judgment Day, Aftermath of the Red Flood, also known as just Judgment Day. It takes the world of the Hoi 4 mod Red Flood, where no one won World War I, and takes it into the Cold War. We're on the select country screen now, and the featured countries here are the Seattle Commune, the Silver Legion, the Union of South Africa, Nouvelle Normandy, and Great Scythia. And I should note that as of this time, this mod is in a demo state and it has full content for the Seattle Commune as well as the Silver Legion, but there is limited content for the Union of South Africa, Nouvelle Normandy, and Great Scythia. And as far as country leaders go here in the select country screen, we have a guy who killed a lot of people, a spiritualist who later founded a group that wanted to bring together the principles of... bring together the principles of... Theocracy, fascism, and socialism, and he also thought he could levitate and later wrote about UFOs, a politician, a person who killed some pensioners, and a guy who assassinated a president. This modification start date is January 1st, 1956, and I am having to play this on a buy blood alone version of Hearts of Iron 4 since that is the last DLC. Judgment Day Aftermath of the Red Flood has been updated to as a recording. And I don't think this mod is supposed to be a canonical outcome for the events of Red Flood. I think it's just speculative, and I'm not really sure if it's unofficial or unofficial, it's status there, but I should. I just wanted to note that, and let's go, well, first off, we have the user inter interface, it's very purple. Red Flood is known for its own Art Deco interface, but it's more gold. Judgment Day has more of a purple-hued one purple and black so let's go to the political tab now we have basically just like vanilla hoi 4's hoi 4's government research and production and military staff as it was during by blood alone that dlc and there is no political advisors here there is just economy law trade law and conscription law and as for ideologies there are anarchism well anarchist vanguard socialism popular socialism progressivism liberalism, conservatism, paternalism, then we have Caesarism or Kaiserism, we have reactionism, and accelerationism, and accelerationism is probably one of the most known ideologies from Red Flood, France has it I believe, and just to go over the basic lore of this world in terms of events, the Slabs have returned to their roots as we can see, well, how ancient they may be in the former great Scythia here, also, the USA fell apart, and the Orient has cast away its old chains, now united for socialism and brotherhood. And I should probably also note, if you've ever played, any viewers watching this that ever played Red Flood, the, how to say, in Judgment Day, let's just say the British Empire and Communist Germany or Socialist Germany lost this world's equivalent of World War II, basically, to my understanding. And going to the research tree now, we have, say, just like Vanilla Hoi 4, but it's been updated to the eras of, well, to the 1950s and the 1960s, just like, it's basically just like the technology tree was during, in Bible alone, Vanilla Hoi 4. And let's go over the factions. Now we have no special decisions here, I think. Let's go over all the factions in the world now. We have, say, Pact Salinksi. I don't know how you say that, but it is. I think it's translated to English. It means the Green Pact, and that is the faction of Great Scythia. We have the Heavenly Pact of Sacred Armies that is led by... It only consists of the Realm of the Living Buddha, but it is a faction. Then we have the Pacific Workers League. And that is led by the Pan-Asian Workers' Federation. It's Japan, but big and socialist. We have League Solar, and that is... The League Solar is basically the Solar League when translated to English. It has the faction of L'État Irel, which is France in this world. And then we have, lastly, there is the Val Pazio Pact. I think, let me just zoom out here, and that's led by Brazil. Is that the last faction there? Yeah, so that's all the factions in the world, and let's go on a world tour now, and I will explain or try to elaborate on a few different countries that they have any connections to 
Red Flood, but they may have like leaders of countries that were in Red Flood. So we'll start in South America. And here we have Venezuela, Colombia. There is a divided Ecuador, I think. There's our pack and the Socialist Republic of Ecuador, and they are a puppet of the Peruvian Communal Republic. And then we have Bolivia, Paraguay, Chile, well, the Nova Patria of Chile, and that's part of, they're part of the Brazilian faction, who's not really called Brazil. We have the Argentine Republic, and there's Uruguay, there's Paraguay, and Brazil is called a Cerildum of Pindorama, and whoever, the guy leading it is a possible leader for Brazil in Red Flood, I shouldn't note that. And let's go over to Africa now. We have the Spanish National Union in Morocco, French Africa, Litat Irel. There is the RD Order of Libya in Libya. And there's Kamasiriat de Egypt, and that is part of the League Solaire. And the British Empire controlled a lot of places in Africa in Red Flood, but in Judgment Day, aftermath of the Red Flood, they have lost it by January 1956. I believe also Ethiopia was divided in Red Flood. But in this setting, the Italian National Republic has taken over basically all of East Africa for the most part. Then we have going to West Africa more. Just to cover that, we have the Kingdom of Upper Volta, the African People's Republic, which is, uh, it is basically, I think, like socialist Liberia in a way. Then we have, well, national collectivist Liberia. We have Ghana. There is Togo, Dahomey, Nigeria. And then we have Reichs Commissariat Cameroon, Irish Grobleck Nud Adabaran. I don't know what that translates to in English. But in Red Flood, Prussia was kind of an exile in the Congo. And I suppose, what is that capital name? Whatever. So they took over to Congo and Central Africa. Quite a bit of Central Africa. In fact, we have Reichs Commissariat East Africa or Ost Africa, Reichs Commissariat Kenya, Kenya, how do you say it? Keria, what is that? A N? It's basically Kenya. It's Kenya, but it's controlled by the Germans, and they control all of Central Africa, more or less. Then we had the Portuguese government, with the Portuguese kingdom in exile in in Central, well, in Angola, Mozambique. There is the Directorate of Zambezi. Then we had the Protectorate of Rhodesia. The Protectorate of Rhodesia is a subject of the Portuguese kingdom in exile. There's the kingdom of Botswana, the Freistaat Sudwest Africa. There's the South African, South African Republic, the Bantu Confederation, and the Union of South Africa. What is that other puppet of the Portuguese? They had the Directorate of Zambezi here. So they control Rhodesia and Zambezi. Then there is the Malagasy Empire. And then let's go over to Asia now. I'm hoping I'm not missing any countries here. We'll go over to, go over to Australia, New Zealand, which is controlled by the People's Federation of Oceania. Then we have, uh, well, they're part of the Japanese faction, the Pacific Workers League. We have the Pan-Asian Workers Federation. Federation controlling, I think, Papua New Guinea. I believe that's the right place, the right name for that. Then we have an Indonesia, the Republic of Indonesia. And all these countries I'm going to list are part of the Pacific Workers League. I'll note when, we get, when we're not listing off countries part of that faction anymore. So we have the Philippine People's Republic. We have the Revolutionary Republic of Indochina. There is the Communal Republic of Siam. The Burmese Commune. Then there is, what else? We have the Pan-Asian Workers' Federation controlling some land directly in China. The Lingnan Democratic Autonomous Republic. China is very divided here. Even though in Red Flood it was divided by warlords, it's still divided in Judgment Day aftermath of the Red Flood by 1956. We have the Jing Hui People's Union Government. Taiwan is controlled by the Pan-Asian Workers Federation. We have the Huabei National Federation. Then above them, there is the Pan-Asian Workers Federation in Japan, Manchuria, and Korea. And in Red Flood, Japan can usually have a civil war between, how to say, the monarchy and the socialists. And evidently, in Judgment Day aftermath of the Red Flood, the national collectivist, they won the civil war that would have taken place in Red Flood. In this speculative mod history, but it's in Judgment Day aftermath of the Red Flood. We have the North Manchurian, what is it, Signification Zone? Is that what that says? I believe so. Then we have the Far Eastern Republic, and then we have the Realm of the Living Buddha, which is basically it is Roman von Ungern Sternberg, the second Genghis Khan, going all in. I guess he's Buddha, 
now. I don't know what his deal is, but he has some very interesting situation going on there. Quite the leader portrait, I will say that much. Then we have India, which was divided in... The Indian subcontinent was divided in Red Flood, but by Judgment Day, Judgment Day Aftermath of the Red Flood, Star Date, it still is divided, but not as extensively as it was. We had the Free India Government, Nepal, Bhutan, the Kingdom of Kashmir, the Republic of Pakistan, Indian State, with the Hindustan Socialist Republic, the Hyderabad State, the Tamil Indian Federation, and the Kingdom of Mysore, and the Pan-Asian Workers' Federation controls Sri Lanka slash Ceylon. They're going over more toward the Middle East. We have the Republic of Pakistan, the People's Federation of Jung the Jengal, and that is basically Azerbaijan, Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan. Then we have the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Sultan of Muscat and Oman, and the Italian National Republic controls Yemen. And there's Magna, Magna Syria, who is a subject of the Italians. And in Anatolia, we have the Pontiac province, which is a subject of Great Scythia, Russia, more or less. Well, you could call them Russia, but it's Great Scythia. Then we have the Italian Regency of Troy. So there's no Turkey, per se, or Armenia, or Azerbaijan, or any states in the Caucasus. It's all split between Great Scythia, Italy, and the People's Federation of the Jengal. There is also the French Regency of Constantinople. Then going up into Europe now, we have Great Scythia, led by Pavel, whatever his name is here. But he controls a united Russian Empire, which in Red Flood, there was a lot of split up. How to say, it wasn't really united, but by Judgment Day, start date, it is united. And they control all of, well, most of Central Asia, I'd say the majority of it. They have all the Caucasus, well, a lot of it under their control, Ukraine. The Intermarium faction kind of fell apart in this modifications world, I guess. They have Belarus, the Baltics, Finland. Very, very powerful. Even though they don't control all of Siberia, evidently because a member of the Pacific Workers League controls, say, Vladivostok, for example. They control all of what, what could be considered usually the Russian Far East. They don't control all of Eastern Russia, I suppose. Then going more into Europe. We have the Romanian Legionary State and the Yavar Province, who's a subject of Great Scythia. Then there's the Commonwealth of Sarmatia, which is Poland, I believe, kind of. Then we have in the Balkans the Titanic realm of Balkania, the Italian Regency of Hellas, the Albanian National Republic, and the Italian National Republic. Then Germany, as I believe I've said before, it seems that Socialist Germany or collectivist Germany, they lost the, they lost the, well, Socialist Germany lost the war with the Solar League, and so we had the Free State of Prussia, there is the Grand Kingdom of Thule, to their north who controls all of Scandinavia, they control Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, I think that's supposed to be the Grand Kingdom of Thule, possibly, then we have the Westphalian Federation, the Kell Canal Zone, the Confederated States of South Germany. So a very divided Germany in general in Judgment Day. We have Lietat Irel, and it's led by Antonin Artaud, who is the its main leader in Red Flood, even though he's quite he's somewhat older here because this is 1956 and not 1936. And Lietat Irel translates to, I think, in from French to English, it means the Unreal State. You have the Spanish National Union, the Iberian State of Portugal, there is Nouvel Normandy in England. We had the Scottish Republic, and both of these countries are part of the French faction. We have the Irish Republic, also part of the French faction, and going over more toward North America now. Iceland's controlled by Thule. Also, they have Greenland, and going to Canada. We have the Autonomous Automatous Republic of Nouvelle Canada. And America collapsing is a possible thing that can happen in Red Flood. So I suppose at some point the French either intervened, and they just entered into... A collapsed America and took advantage of the situation or they have allies here at the very least we have the Dominion of Canada who is kind of just on their own there's Anchorage then going over down to going down to Central America and Southern North America we have the United Mil the United Mexican States the 12th military zone there is the Cristana the Critano rule government Quintana rule government there is Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, who's lost some land, the Kingdom of Mesquita, 
we have Costa Rica, the La Escadron do Panama, and that is a subject. Well, they're part of the French faction. We have here the, what is this, the Guna Republic, and that is above Colombia and near the La Escadron do Panama, and they're not part of the League Solar or anything. Then we have Cuba. There is also, we have Federation de Caribs in Jamaica and part of the Caribbean in general. The Empire of Haiti is a thing. We have the Dominican Republic. And let's go over the whole very fascinating place that is now collapsed America by 1956. And I'm just going to list off all of the members of the Solar League first in, say, the Atlantic side of what was the former USA, the eastern part of the USA. So we had the Florida Surrealdom, the, what is this, the Dominion European de la Nouvelle Caroline, whatever is going on there. We had the Southeast Compact, the Cumberland Technate, the Central Escadron Zone, the Adventurers Territory of the Midwest, the Detroit Collective, the Abstract State of Pennsylvania. Is that Andy Warhol? Okay, my goodness. We have the New York Orchestral State. Then there is also, I'm not trying to miss any. They have similar country colors. We have the Realm of Providence, led by H.P. Lovecraft. I think in real life he died in, he died in the mid to late 1930s. And I think that's all the puppets here. Detroit Collective, Adventurous Territory of the Midwest, Cumberland, Technate, Dominion, European de la Nouvelle, Caroline, Caroline, how do you say? Carolinian, something to do, not Carol, Carolingian, something to do with that. Then going more into Texas, we have the American Federal Emergency Government, the the Confinement Zone, one in the world, the American People's Liberation Army, the Confederation of Native Nations, the Ozark People State, the Royal and Catholic Army, the Kingdom of Macedon, Macedonia, the Fry Corps, Tettelbach, the Grangenland Frontier, Grangenland Frontier, the Society of the North. What are these countries country names? These country names, Dakota Realm. Imperial Guard, then in, they control Chicago, it looks like. The Imperial Guard controls Chicago, okay. We have Nova Albion, then there is the European Refugee Coalition, the Colorado Vanguard Group, and getting more toward the West Coast now in Southwest America. We have the Luminescent State of Roswell, and the Commune of Osamerica. Quas America, Osa America. There's the Children of God, the Divine Mandate of Deseret, the Army of the Individual, the Arcane Domain of Azinwati, and going into the Pacific Northwest, we had the Silver Legion, Seattle Commune, the Republic of Columbia, the Oregon Federal Commune, the Social Labor Republic of Portland, the National Territory of Mal something, Mal. Malheur, however you say it, whatever the name is. Then let's check on Hawaii real fast. Who controls Hawaii? They're controlled by the Republic of Hawaii. Okay. Then getting more toward California. We have the California National Guard Enclave. The United Pacific Communes is part of the Pacific Workers League. So Japan basically has some influence here on the west coast of the USA. There's the Oregon Federal Commune and the Social Labor Republic of Portland. These three countries are part of the Japanese faction with the Pan-Asian Pacific, the Pan-Asian Workers Federation faction. Yeah, they're part of that. Then in Southern California, there is the Dunes, the realm of Tia Tia Jiga. I don't know how you say that. There is the Karashan Unity, and what else is here? We have the Bard Legion. Okay, and then last but not least. There is George Patton, who's still alive in this timeline in Judgment Day, who leads the California National Guard Enclave. And did I miss anyone here? I don't believe I did. And I think with that, we have the Republic of Columbia here. And yeah, but George Patton's still alive by 1956 in this world. So is H.P. Lovecraft, and so is Antonin Artaud. And with that, this has been Judgment Day Aftermath of the Red Flood. If you enjoyed this mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.